Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to do some more modifications in the setmember.go file. Alright, so as you can see here that I'm currently present in this file and what I will do, as you can see that I have applied multiple if statements and what I need to do, I will apply these if statements in this update.go file. Alright, so I will remove these if statements and I will apply them here. Alright. So first of all, the thing that I'm going to do, as you can see here, that these uh, variables are used multiple times, like uh, full name, uh, uh, account, uh, member account name, member account name, password. So these are the variables that are used multiple times. So I will uh, write them in a function. So first of all, let me just copy this. All right. And after copying it, I will go to the update.go file. And inside this file, I will make a function by the name of set member. And inside this, uh, I will return three string values, the first one, the second one, and the third one. And I'll, I will uh, just paste the variables, all right? So let me just uh, copy this variable also that is relevant to the password. So I will paste it here like this. After that, I will simply return these uh, variables like return password, full name, account name, like this, all right? So now what I will do, I will use this function here in this update, uh, update member functionality instead of using them here. So let me just uh, delete it from here. All right. But before it, let me just use it, uh, this functionality here and then I will remove it. So let's uh, open like if length of value zero like this is not equal to nil, then inside this, I will apply value 0 and then value 1 and then value 2, all right, one by one. So let's write like this. Uh, if length of value 0 is not equal to 0, uh, uh, then what I will do, I will write uh, set uh, password, uh, password, full name, and account name like this. All right. So once it is done, what I will do, I will write a set password functional that I have written it here like this. All right. So these are the three variables that I'm going to use it. And what I will do, I will just copy this and paste them here. All right. And instead of writing value zero, value one, what I will write, I will write uh, what you can say, value zero, this will be the password. And value one will be not uh, the, what you can say the value zero or value one instead I will write the full name all right and the account name that I will get from the Redis database and I have shown you these processes uh, in my previous video so you can check them out also so basically the full name and the account name will be gotten from the uh, Redis database and the new value that is value zero or the password will be updated here once uh, the user want to update it all right similarly I will uh, paste this two times further and I will change value one this time. Uh, and now what I need to do, I will write password instead of writing full name. And let's uh, remove this full name. Uh, I will I use not, uh, I, I won't use the full name. Instead, what I will write, I will write the password uh, from the Redis database and I will use the value one as a new value in the database, all right? So this uh, new value will be inserted inside the database or updated here. So let's write value two. And uh, this is basically password. And let's remove the value two. Password will be written here. Full name will be uh, gotten from the database, uh, Redis database, password will be gotten from the uh, Redis database, but the account name that the user will give will be updated a new user value here. All right. So this is the account name that a new account name that is a new account name and that is basically represented by the value two. So this will be updated in the MySQL database, but the previous uh, data will be present as it is. All right. That will be fetched from the uh, what you can see from the Redis database. So now uh, let's remove this from here because I don't need it. And uh, what I need to do, I need to write one thing more and that is length of email also. If length of email is not equal to zero like this. So let's copy it to, uh, here also and then copy it here. 
All right, so it will check the length of um, account name, full name and the password and it will also check the length of email address, whether this email address is uh, empty or not. So now let's go to the setmember.go file and I will remove this data from here because I have used these, uh, this data. So I will just remove it from here and I will remove it from here also like this. And once it is done, as you can see here that the full name and the account name is giving me error here because they are deleted from here. So I need to, um, what you can say, I need to write another values instead of it. So what I will do, I will first of all, uh, copy this redis set account info and i will use it here first of all i need to do this and then i will move on further like this this will be the uh, what you can say value zero and this time let's uh, copy this paste it here and this time i will write value one and that will be the member uh, full name like this and this is going to be the member account name. All right. So basically, this uh, set account info will save the account name info or the full name uh, or the password in the Redis database and they will be fetched here. All right. So by the name of account name or password and uh, the updated value will be written as value 0, value 1 and value 2. So let's remove them from here also because there is no need for it. All right. Once it is done, what I will do, I will go to the update member uh, functionality and here you can see that uh, these are requiring the three values. So uh, I will put the, what you can say, the uh, not these uh, full name and account name. Instead, what I will do, I will put the member full name or the member account name that I will give through the command line interface. As you can see here, that these are the flags that I have written it here and these are the flags that will be fetched. So I will give uh, only these flags and after that, uh, by applying these flags and by applying these va uh, values, it will uh, um, apply the if statements inside this update member functionality all right so inside this update member function it will apply all these if statements but in this uh, set member.go file i will just give the uh, flags here all right so let's write uh, what you can say uh, set me uh, member account name like this all right so now i don't need to apply these if statements here instead they are applied in the update.go file so i will ju uh, just delete them all right so all the things will be done inside this update.go file but instead what i will do i will remove them and save it here now you can see that i have just given the member password member full name and member account name and after that i have updated uh, by using this functionality mysql data update member that is present inside this update.go file and after that it will apply all these if statements that i have uh, that i have written it here previously i wrote it uh, in this uh, file but now, now i have transferred them here all right so let's save them let's save them here so I hope uh, you will understood. Now let's go to the insert.go file and inside this insert.go file you can see that if I go to the invited.go file you will see that there are some values that are uh, in, uh, empty here but only the invited email is present. So and then I have uh, written this insert member data by just writing the email address. So why uh, why I did it? So basically it was by mistake. So I will change this variable and just write one variable instead of writing four variables. So I will write it string. And after that, let's write it like a string value here also. Sorry, email. And now what I will do? I will uh, write the values empty here instead of writing them here. I will make the values empty here. All right, so let's write it like this. Now it will work fine. And now what I will do, I will add two values more that will be the is active and the uh, created at value that will be present in the database. So let me just first of all write it for you zero and then is active that will be the term now. So that is going to be email address it is not a value zero instead it is email address after that the password the full name and the account name will be empty when i will insert the member data and after that i will insert two data uh, other that will be is active 
and then the uh, created at. So these are two of the more values that will be inserted into the MySQL database. One is the is active that will basically show the active uh, status zero when I will insert the member data. And uh, after that, it will also show the created date that when the uh, member uh, was inserted. So it will also show me the date of it. All right. So after that, I will modify the is active status, uh, is active status to one when I will verify that account. All right. So of the member. So I hope you understood. So these are basically the status option and the created uh, option that will be updated when I will uh, uh, when I will verify the member email address. All right. So for now the uh, the status is zero. So now let's go to the invited uh, go file and I will simply delete this because I don't need it. Instead, what I will write I will just write the invited email because based on this email address the member data will be inserted into the MySQL database. All these data will be empty. And after that, the status will be zero and the time will be a uh, created time that is uh, that will be present when the user will create an account, a member, create a new member. All right. So let's save this. And after that, let's uh, go to the db.scale file and I will simply copy this. All right. These are the two more strings that I'm going to copy and they will be present inside the MySQL data. So now you can see that the member has email address, password, full name and account name and is active and created statement also. This statement will basically show that whether the member email is, uh, is verified or not. All right. So let's save this. Let's save this also. Save this. And now what I will do, I will write go um, install. Now let's write pro CTL uh, status. You can see that the user is logged out. So first of all, I will write login email. Uh, let's write the email address main three that is present my account. All right. Password 1122. User is logged in. So now what I will do, I will write uh, what you can say pro CTL invite space. And that ES space name would be the uh, sorry, the email address would be this. So now this email address will be invited. Let's wait for it. You have successfully invited a member. Now let's write pro CTL logout. I need to log out in order to verify the member email address. As you can see that the email is received. Now what I will do, I will simply copy this string. And after copying this string, what I will do, I will, oh, what you can say, I will write pro CTL uh, um, pro CTL invited like this and I will give the email address of the member that is invited so let's write the verification code I will paste the verification code your account is successfully verified so now if I check the members uh, data select from members you will see that this is the email address that is inserted by default and this is the password that is that was not given to it a full name that is not given to it and the account name is not given to it but the is active and the created date are our data is present here currently the is active is showing me status zero because the account is not verified and the created date is showing me the result, uh, result that on which date on which time the account was created so this is relevant to the member information not the sign up user information now what i will do I will uh, work on another functionality. Maybe I have forgotten about it. So set member, yeah. Pro CTL set member or set mem. Instead, uh, I will write what you can see email address. That will be the email address. And now let's write the password 5566. So you are uh, the member credentials are successfully updated. So if I take a look at this, sorry. You will see that these are the previous data that were inserted but now this uh, 5566 is password is updated so these were the previous data basically i created an account and i didn't delete the data from the redis database so it was my fault so you can delete this data no problem but this data is going to be updated here and all this previous data if you have inserted already then they will be present here but if you if you have not inserted the data in the redis database while updating the data 
data so it will not insert the data so the mistake was from my side i didn't delete the redis database already so i need to delete it it, it is simple i have created a function for it also you can take a look at this delete or go file uh, sorry a redis if i go to the redis you can see i will apply this and uh, you can apply this also delete token and you will just enter the what you can see the password and the full name and it will delete the data for you so if i have a chance i will show it to you but uh, the uh, i have updated this similarly if i show you what you can say uh, the full name the full name is going to be let's say uh, veins tree as you can see here the full name is currently veins if i show you as you can see the 556 is already present and the uh, veins tree is now updated all right so this is how it will work but now i need to make some changes instead of writing zero i will change it to one and this was a problem from my side so what i will do i will make it work let's go to the update.go file all right so update member set so i need to change this also so let's write is active because these things should be updated here so is active and um, created or these things will be remained as it is or so is active i will write the is active status here and so what i will do i will write zero like this sorry one because the account when the account will be updated when the member account data will be updated this will go from the zero to one all right so let's copy this and paste it here also and similarly i will copy this and uh, paste it here also so now it will work fine as I have guessed it. So maybe yeah, check it. So now the error is gone from here. Now what I will do, I will change the is active statements. So let me rush, uh, write go install. Now if I type, let's say, we instead of writing Wayne Street, I will write hello world. Now the mem member credentials are successfully updated. If I show you, as you can see here, that the status is active here. All right. So this is how it will work when the user will update the data when the user will add these passwords full name and the account name then data will be uh, the user uh, the member email address will be update active but when the user will only enter the email address it will not be active all right so this is how it will work so now let's clear this and write git status all right as you can see here that these are the files that needs to be added git add uh, git commit and git now uh, what you can say git commit m uh, so added the active uh, st active and uh, time status time status in the member credentials like this git push origin master so let's wait for it as you can see here if i show you refresh this page now 54 commits are added added the active and time status in member credentials so i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye